neck and neck in the backyard Grand Prix. Here comes the jump. <laughs> yeah! But what's this up ahead? It's a traffic jam. Honk honk. Huh? What's the rush? We're racing here. But we're on a road trip. Uh, on our racetrack? You're right, Kobe. I guess it's not the best place for a road trip. A road trip sounds fun, though. Yeah! Maybe we can go on one together. Let's go! Yeah! Road trip adventure! Did someone say adventure? Go, Ziggy! Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song. We sing this song. 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 Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. Wait up! Oh, Yay! Yeah! Road trip! All aboard the Eddie Express! Going somewhere exciting? Hmm? We sure are. We're going to... Um... Where are we going again? Um, beats me. But I'm driving there. Have you ever been to the Bouncy Beach? The Bouncy Beach? That place sounds jumping. Bouncy Beach it is! Let's go! <laughs> this is gonna be awesome! <clears throat> the bouncy beach is quite easy to find. Just head down this road and take the first left. Got that? Hmm? Left. Don't turn right. Then go over the bridge to the end of the road. Until you see bouncy beach. This is gonna be fun! Got that? Got it. Next stop, bouncy beach. Yeah. All right! <laughs> Remember, take the first left. Um, which way now? What did the peacock say? Hey, don't look at me. I thought you were listening. Well, I was busy. Did anyone hear the directions? Not me. Uh-uh. Nope. <sighs> hey, I've got an idea. Road trip, road trip, let us know. Which way should we choose to go? This way, to the right. Okay, ready, Eddie, go! Yeah! <laughs> Are you sure this is the right road? I'm not even sure this is a road. Bouncy Beach must be around here somewhere. Can you see through all the dust? Not really. So we're not only lost, we can't even see where we're lost. But I want to bounce. Hey, look! A car wash! Hello. Hey, can you please clean our camper van? <laughs> Let's see. One cup is a quick clean, two cups for a medium clean, and three cups are the full monkey. <gasps> the, the full, full monkey! monkey! <laughs> I love monkeys! Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, monkey. You're funny. <laughs> Of soap. Oh. Right. 
い。We're gonna follow directions. Okay, turn right. Now, turn left. Can anyone see the bubble? Not me. Uh-uh. Nope. <sighs> um, hi, Mr. Giraffe. Did you see our friend float past? She's the one in the bubble. You did? Which way did she go? So we go right, then straight ahead. Thanks, Mr. Giraffe. Look! A fork in the road! Hi, Mr. Sloth. Have you seen a girl floating around here anywhere? Oh, yeah. <sighs> I think she went towards Bouncy Beach. You go right, then over the bridge, and keep going to the end of the road. Everyone get that? Yes! Okay, thanks, Mr. Sloth. <laughs> over the bridge and keep going to the end of the road it's bouncy feet oh yeah cool it's beautiful Did you see that? The bubble came down a little bit with Mia inside. I know what to do. Listen, we all need to bounce up to the bubble and get inside it. Then our weight will pull it down. Got it. You bet. Um, how are we going to get out? Hmm. Easy. Yay! 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 Good going, Sophie. <laughs> there you go, Lucky. Um, Mia, what are you doing? I'm feeding Lucky. Feeding Lucky? Yep. There's enough food here for a herd of elephants. Didn't you look at the instructions? Well, of course I did. And what did they say? 
How should I know? I don't know how to read. Here, I'll help you. Thanks, Sophie. Hmm. <laughs> yeah! Ugh. That is the smallest apple ever. But it won't come down. I'm tired of waiting. Just, uh, getting warmed up. Boy, boy, boy! Gotcha! That's apple picking Tessa style! It's a crab apple. Kind of sour. It looks yummy to me. <laughs> Ew! Not yummy. Now I want a big, juicy apple more than ever. Hmm. Why don't we go where the biggest, most best, most delicious apples grow? Like where? Like a whole island of apples. Big apples. Yeah! Big Apple Island! Great! Let's go! All right! Oh, hey, Jack. Where are you guys going? We're going to find the biggest apples ever. Apples? Ew. What? What's wrong with apples? Don't you know about apples? I heard that one time there was this kid who found a worm in an apple. A worm? Ew. Yeah, gross, right? Well, see ya. Come on, Tessa. Let's go. Worm. Yuck. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song. We sing this song. Sing this song. Quiet. And where did all the apple trees go? Looks like some of them were cut down to make this wall. But I wonder why. Look! There's an apple tree! Now those are big apples! Stop! Don't touch those apples. You don't want to make the angry apple angry. What's the angry apple? Oh, it's the biggest apple you've ever seen. And the other day, we think the angry apple ate our leader, Chief Beaver. <laughs> <laughs> That's silly. Apples don't eat people or beavers. Well, go ahead and laugh. But he's missing. And that's why we stopped eating apples and built this wall to keep the angry apple away. I don't know about any angry apples, but I know this one looks delicious. Ooh, it's the angry apple. Scientific fact. There is no such thing as an angry apple. Yeah, apples aren't angry. They're yummy, except the little sour ones. And the ones with the worms, yuck. I say we go find out what this angry apple really is. Yeah, let's show these beavers there's nothing to be scared of. Please take us to the angry apple. Yeah, we'll find your leader. I, uh, okay, but you'll regret it. What if there is an angry apple and there's a giant worm inside making it angry? And if there's one thing worse than an angry apple, it's a giant worm inside an angry apple. Tessa, you sound like these silly beavers. You're just imagining things. 
<laughs> oh, really? We'll see. They sure do look yummy. Yup, they do. <clears throat> but do not touch them. <gasps> Wait up! <sighs> Behold, the angry apple. is one huge apple. But it doesn't look very angry to me. Uh, I'll just be over here. What in the name of fidgeting fruit is going on around here? Mm -mm. Tessa, aren't you coming with us? No. I don't like apples anymore. They have worms in them. Yuck! I don't want to find a worm in an apple. I don't even want to see an apple. If there was a worm in the apple, there'd be a hole where the worm crawled in. No holes here. You sure? There's only one way to find out. <laughs> be careful, Sophie. This apple isn't angry or hungry. You've got to see this. Don't worry. No worms. I promise. Thank goodness. I was trying to push this apple home and got my tail stuck under it. Been here for days. You were making all that noise? Yup. Didn't think anyone heard me, though. Now, if you don't mind, please get this apple off my tail. Come on, everybody. One, two, three. Yeah! I'm free! 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 You defeated the Angry Apple and saved our beaver chief! Angry Apple? What Angry Apple? We thought it gobbled you up! There was no Angry Apple! Good thing you came along. You weren't scared. Well, I was kind of scared. But my friend showed me it was only my imagination playing tricks on me. To show our thanks, we would like to share our specialty with you. Apple pie! Mmm, so good. Best apple pie ever. See, no angry apple. And no worms. So, I'll have another slice, please. <laughs> <laughs> and now, another amazing adventure of Super Ready! Whoa! Oh, save me! Save me! What brave person will come to my rescue? Don't worry, Super Ready is Super Ready! Some great big furry creature is trying to gobble me up. Where is this beast? Uh, under my stool. It's just a stuffed bunny rabbit. Nothing to be scared of. Nibbles? 
I was looking for you. How did you get out of your cage? Were you guys afraid of a cute little hamster? Well, Not you really. See, um, time for a run on your hamster wheel. <laughs> <laughs> from our own backyard stage, which was built by magical unicorns. Okay, I just made that up. It's the big show! Let's welcome our hosts, Eddie and Sophie! Thank, Thank you! Thank, Thank you. you! Let's hear it for Ziggy Wigglebottom and the Wigglebottom Band! We've all been working hard to put together a great show. Songs and jokes, and Mia's fairy tale theater. But now, adventure! A trip to the jungle, always full of fun and surprises. So let's get this rocking. Ziggy, make that music. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. <laughs> And you can come along. One more time, Ziggy. Hey, hey, we've got an it. Tessa, we're trying to sing a song. I'm bored. Bored? But you were having such a good time helping Mia with the wardrobe. Finish that. And the props. You loved it. it. Bored, 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 bored. There's nothing to do. There's lots to do, if you know where to look. Have a seat and check out this very not boring song. Hmm. <sighs> Ziggy, one more time. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song. We sing this song. Sing this song. We sing this song. Sing this song. We sing this song. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And we're extra so excited. So here we go. Well, I guess I don't have anything else to do. Thanks, Mia. Bye-bye. Have fun. How can anyone be bored in the jungle? Don't know. Still am. We could go on a safari and see all the amazing jungle animals. Yeah, like dinosaurs. <sighs> Well, what have we found? Uh, a sloth! A sloth? <sighs> he seems even more bored than I am. Maybe we can unbore him. Mr. Sloth, want to do something fun? <sighs> okay. I know. How about a nature hike? We can look at all the wonderful wonders of nature. Sky. Round. Slop. That was nice. I'm done with nature. He's still bored. Got any other ideas? Hey, I know something everyone gets excited about. <laughs> In, Slothy. Okay. You'll love this. Ready?
No. Not fun. Feel better? Yes. Still bored, though. I know what you mean. Hey, when I'm bored, you know what helps? A little exercise. Exer what? One, two, three, four, jump and then you jump some more. Five, six, seven, eight, doesn't that just feel so great? Yeah. No. I'm beat. But you hardly even move. Don't you ever think about doing exciting stuff? Don't you dream about... Dream? You mean like sleep? No, dream, like use your imagination. Imagine what now? You've never heard of imagination? No wonder you're bored. When you're feeling like there's nothing left to do And you're staring at the wall And it's staring back at you You've got the bottom blues You can cure them if you find Helping Mr. Slob totally made me not bored. Well, I hope I helped. Hmm. The moon. He doesn't sound bored to me. The moon. Imagination is fun! It's like when me. a long time ago in a very enchanted place, kind of like here, there was an evil witch. Sophie. Ooh, witchy witchiness. The mean evil witch locked away a beautiful princess in a tall tower of total boredom, where the princess was totally bored. I was bored. But I'm not bored now. Look, I made an airplane. Hey, you're supposed to be a bored princess. Okay, but I can't be bored. This is a really fun tree house. It's supposed to be a tower. So, uh, anyway, a handsome prince came to save the princess. I am a handsome prince. Now you tell the princess to let down her long hair so you can climb up and... Not the ladder, her hair! See my airplane? Cool! This isn't boring, it's fun! <sighs> and they lived happily ever after. Witchy witchiness! With the witch! I made an airplane too! Yay! in the treehouse with the ladder, the end. Witchy witchiness. What a show! We went to the jungle, we met a sloth. I tried to tell a fairy tale. And you did! Wasn't it so fun to make up a new ending? I guess so. It wasn't boring, that's for sure. Totally not boring. Remember. When you're feeling like there's nothing left to do And you're staring at the wall And staring back at you You got the bored and blues But you can cure them if you find The 
magic in your mind. The magic called imagination. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Smells good. When do we eat? Love your pirate picnic, Emma. Thank you. Did you notice how all the sandwich ships are floating perfectly on Sandwich Sea? I didn't know pirate stuff could be so sparkly and pretty. You made these hats? Of course I did, silly. I made all of this with my own two little hands. I love bedazzling. Do you? I'll show you how. Can we eat first? Like, right now? Uh-uh-uh. Done. Now it's all and amazing and ready to eat. Mmm. Hey, guys. Hey, Jack. Mmm. 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 This is delicious. Why do you have to munch like such a messy monkey? He does this all the time at home. Oh, I can't help it if your sandwiches are so yummy. Mm. Mm. Jack! What? Oh, Fooey! I wanted to share the most special, perfect, and amazing pirate picnic with you all. But now it's all... well... it's all messed up. Sorry. Emma, maybe an adventure would cheer you up. Yeah, like a real pirate adventure. <sighs> pirate adventure? Let's go! We can wear our sparkly hats. Definitely. I'm going to stay and work on some moves for my dance party. Woo! Oh, can I help? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, sure. <clears throat> See you later. Let's cast off, mateys. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song. We sing this song. Wait up! <gasps> Where'd all the pirates go? Pirates, ahoy! Yo ho! Hey, pirates! <laughs>
Would you be a super duper helper and call the monkey pirates to the table? You do? Of course. Who doesn't adore sparkly things? And they'll just go bananas for this. Banana burgers! <laughs> hey, get off the table, sit <laughs> down. <laughs> hey, wait up. Maybe if we sit... <laughs> guys, guys! <laughs> sit nicely, please! <laughs> Let me show you the proper way to eat bananas. But they're monkeys! There's a proper way for everything. See? <laughs> Not bad. <gasps> no! Not like that! Not good. Run for your life! But my perfect pirate ship party! Oh, hmm. to make the best, most amazing, wonderful pirate day. <sighs> mm, mm, mm. Delicious. <gasps> Sophie, look! The pirate monkeys are doing everything Jack's doing. Kinda cool. Kinda weird. I can't believe it. They're all imitating Jack. That'll happen with monkeys. Jack, this is amazing. You saved the day perfectly. Oh, yeah. Um, thank you, Ella. Maybe being a monkey now isn't always such a bad thing. I guess sometimes you've just got to let people be who they are. And let monkeys be monkeys. Remember, just like we practiced. Hit it, Ziggy! Dance party! Woohoo! Yay! <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. Yay! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Dance party! Woo! Yeah! And a leap! Woo! Yeah! Ugh. Mia? Oh, yeah. Ah, Mia? Ah, dance party! Woo! Mia! That's not what we rehearsed. This is Tessa's dance party, and you're supposed to dance Tessa style. Oh, rat. Guess I got carried away. I kind of like Mia's dancing. Me, too. Especially that part when you... Oh, yeah! Dance party! Oh, yeah! That was really so cute! Tessa's style is great, but so is Mia's style. Bunny, Teddy, and Zebra liked it, too. Tessa, sometimes it's fun to try different styles, too. 
Yeah, and Mia does have some interesting moves. Mia, could you show me what you were doing with the, uh... Definitely. Welcome to the first ever Backyard Egg Stravaganza! Team 1, Eddie and Mia! Yes! Team 2, Tessa and Kobe! Okay, you know the rules. Partners pass the egg to each other, and the first team to get its egg over the finish line without breaking it wins! Let's go, Sophie! This egg wants to get rolling! Eggs ready. Eggs set. Tessa. Come on, Eddie! Oh, yeah! Yippee. Yeah! Yay. <laughs> Eddie slides into the lead. But Tessa and Kobe are gaining on them. Come on, toss it! Toss it! Passes ahead by nose. This is so exciting! <laughs> Go, Tessa! Come on, Eddie! You can do it! Mm. Mm. And it's exactly a tie! A tie? Aw, oh, come on! What good's a race without a winner? Rematch! But with race cars! <laughs> race cars! Yes! We can race on a big track! I'm in. Let's go. Yeah. I can't wait to race. Hit it, Ziggy. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song. to the really rather royal road race. Ripping, rousing, absolutely riveting. Dad. Sorry, son. Continue. The race will begin here and finish there at Pigalot Palace. Where the victory celebration will be held in a royally dignified manner. No light cheering will be permitted. Like this. Ra, ra, ra. There's the starting flag! Woohoo! Dad! You said I could start the race! Steady Eddie gets a head start and leaves him in the dust! Go, Eddie! The kid's a born winner! You said it! Wait, who said it? Eyes on the road, Ace! You want to win this thing, right? I love winning! And you do anything to win? Anything. Oh. Are you sure, Ace? A oh. zillion percent! Okay, leave it to me. Think of me as your good luck job. Quick, take this dirt road here. Uh... Okay. <laughs> oh no! I'm stuck in the mud! <laughs> and he rounds the curve like a pro! No one can catch up to him! Rat. 
luck charm. What are you doing? Helping you win, champ. Nobody can drive on banana peels. But that's not very fair. No, but now you're way out in front. I guess I am. I stopped all the other racers, too. All of them? Yep. But isn't that really unfair? Who cares about fair? You're going to win. But that's... And winning is the best, right? Well, I do love winning. It's great! Better than great. But what about my friends? Hey, you said that you'd do anything, right? Winning is the best. But cheating is the worst. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing? The right thing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. A winner. I could be your good luck charm. Oh. Oh. I'll help you, Kobe. Mm. Here, Mia. Got it. Thanks. There you go, Tessa. Thanks. I, King Pigalox, pronounce you, Sophie, the winner of the really rather royal road race. Yay! Hooray for Sophie! Yay! Hooray for Sophie! Yay! Hooray for Sophie! Aw, thank you. But I couldn't have won without Eddie's help. He helped me, too. And me! That makes four of us. And because Eddie helped all of us, I think he is the real winner. Here we go, Eddie. Hooray! Yay! Congratulations, Eddie! Bravo! It's like a Mia, That's me! This is the story of the tortoise in the hare, which is like a big bunny rabbit, but different. The role of the tortoise would be played by a really slow zebra because we don't have a tortoise. <sighs> so one day, the really slow zebra and the hairy bunny rabbit had a race. The bunny was so sure she was going to win that she stopped to play in the sandbox. But the zebra just kept moving along, slow and steady. So... You know, Bunny, if you get all sandy, it might slow you down. No, you're supposed to pass her, not help her. Gee, thanks, really slow zebra. Boing, boing, boing. <sighs> boing, boing, boing. But then the bunny saw some swings. She was so far ahead of the really slow zebra, she decided to stop and play. So the slow and steady zebra... Need a push? Thanks! No! You know, Bunny, we're having so much fun, why don't we cross the finish line together too? Great idea! No! It's not supposed to happen that way. The really slow zebra is supposed to win. Whee! Whee! <laughs> Look, it's a tie! Whee! <laughs> so, the zebra and the bunny became best friends. And that's definitely not the story of the tortoise and the hare. You should tell us that one sometime. <sighs> the... <laughs> Thank you. And now, coming to you from our own backyard stage, which landed here from outer space. Okay, not really, but it's fun to pretend. Welcome to the big show! With 
your hosts, Eddie and Sophie. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. You guys are a great audience. Let's hear it for Ziggy Wigglebottom and the Wigglebottom Band. Awesome music, Kobe. I'm not Kobe. I'm Ziggy. Uh, I mean... I'm Ziggy, and Ziggy Digga Doo means back to you. Thanks, Zig. We have a great show for you today. Adventure, songs, jokes, and... Our first act, the Junk Jugglers. Here, Kobe. Whoops, hey, come back here. Uh, thank you, junk jugglers. <laughs> you should try to work together. We were supposed to work together, but then I got really busy and... Me too. I was, um, the same as Kobe. Uh, like they said. What would happen to our show if we didn't all work together? If we don't work like a team, there's no show. So, team, ready for our adventure? Uh-huh. Yeah. Guess so. We're entering a very special talent contest in the jungle. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song. We sing this song. Sing this song. We sing this song. We sing this song. We sing this song. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And we're extra so excited. So here we go. Wait up! <laughs> oh my! What have we here? Visitors! Hmm? We're here to enter the talent contest. We really know how to put on a show. How cute! So, which one of you is talented, hmm? Well, we all kind of do different things. So you're the talented one? No, I mean, all of us are... Well, you look more talented than he does. Hey, wait a minute. Now, who looks more talented? <clears throat> On second thoughts, you look more talented than both of them. I do. Thank you. You know... I like to make up my own fairy tales. Then you should do that. And what should you do? Hmm? I like dancing. Maybe you're the talented one. I can dance and sing and everything else. Then let's enter you in the contest and see who's the most talented. Okay. I'm Eddie and ready to win. Eddie. Who else wants to enter, hmm? If Eddie's going to enter on his own, so am I. Sophie. My name's Sophie. Uh, Sophie, weren't we supposed to do this together? Mia, write me down. I'm gonna win. Tessa, can you believe... Tessa. T-E-S-S-A. When I dance, no one else has a chance. What about you? What's your name, hmm? Kobe, but... No, I... You'd better get rehearsing. Hey, you guys! Wait! <laughs> I do so love messing with out-of-towners. <sighs> hey, I'm Eddie. I'm ready to be great. I'm better than pancakes and pizza on a plate. I'm definitely gonna win this contest. When I 
play, they'll shout, hooray! I'm the one who's gonna win today! Got the Tessa moves, got the Tessa grooves. And when I move, it proves. I'm the winner, no beginner. Once upon a fairy tale, there was a superhero princess who won every contest. And she's gonna win this contest too. Attention, jungle! The talent contest will now begin! I'm ready to win! Oh, are you now? Well, you'll just have to wait your turn. First, the Elephantasia! Wow! Beautiful! I give them one star. And now, it's Birdapalooza! <laughs> fly! Fly! They get two stars! Next, some monkey business! <laughs> Simply magical! Three gold stars! They're pretty good. I don't even think I could beat them. I don't feel like dancing anymore. I'm not getting up there and telling a story by myself. Hey! Tessa, remember that time you felt bad because you fell into that mud puddle? We all jumped in with you, together. Mia, remember when you couldn't finish that super huge banana split? <laughs> we all ate it together. Eddie, it's like you said. If we don't work like a team, there's no show. You let that peacock make you work against each other. We came here as a team because we are a team. It doesn't matter if we win or lose. It's how we play the, the, the whatever we play together. Right, Kobe? We are a team. Yeah. Let's do what Kobe said. Really? Wow. And next we have an Eddie. Wait, there's been a change. A change? What kind of change? We're performing together. We're a team. Huh. Fine. Go ahead. As if you have the talent to win. Where did they come from? We're the best friends you've ever seen. And we're part of a super team. Couldn't get any better. But we do, we do together. We sing, we swing, we sa-sa sing. Like a bell that chimes, we ring a ding. The best part of all, as you will see, is doing it together in harmony. Once upon a time, I was just me. show us what a little teamwork can do, they say thee from practicing together. Welcome back, the Junk Jugglers! We'll get X 
sprays. Then we'll pop the old kneecap and take a look under the hood. But Sophie, it's only a scrape. Trust me, Mia, I'm a doctor. Well, at least I want to be a doctor when I grow up. You know how many years of school that takes? No, how many? Like a thousand hundred million. Oh. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Guess what I want to be when I'm big? An airplane? Zoom. Oh, a pilot! Hey, that's what I want to be, too! I thought of it first. We can both be pilots. Zoom, zoom! <laughs> well, I'm the first pilot, so I sit here. I'll be the passenger. Hey, what about me? You can be the... Co-pilot! Okay, but before takeoff, the co-pilot has to sit in his seat. Attention, passengers. Hold on. We're flying upside down. <laughs> you can't do that. I'm the pilot. You're the... I can't decide if I want to be an astronaut, a rap singer, or a farmer when I grow up. A farmer. Great idea, Kobe. Me and Eddie are already dancing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the farm and we can have a hoedown. What's that? It's a country dance. Come on. Oh, that was fun. Take it away, Ziggy. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song. We sing this song. Guys, let's get this party started. Tessa style. Where? There's no room. Hmm. We can just dance around all this stuff. Hit it, Kobe. I mean, Ziggy. isn't really set up for a dance party. We can fix it with the little elbow grease. We can make it spectacular. You know what this place really needs? Yep, a dancing dinosaur. Roar! No, what this place needs is decorations. Huh, <sighs> boring. Dinosaurs are boring. They're distinct. You mean extinct? That too. Wait. I have an idea. Balloons! I love balloons. Okay, we can blow them up together. Deal. <sighs> we'll get some of this mess cleaned up. <laughs> Eddie, you're supposed to be blowing up the balloons. But this is fun! See? Edward Lazy Pants, we've still got all those to do. Okay, okay. Here. Look! Perfect. Just be careful it doesn't blow away. Okay. Sit. Good balloon. Stay, stay. Bad balloon. Not now, I'm working. Okay, balloon, you win. I'll take you for a walk, but only a short one. 
I've got a job to finish. Farm sure is sure. In fact, where is Eddie? <sighs> I bet he was off having fun while we all worked hard. Yeah, my elbow grease is all dried up. Well, let's go and find him. Come on. Whoa, whoa! <whistles> whoa, whoa! What in the name of bouncing buttercups is going on? Balloons are like dogs. You've got to take them out twice a day. Uh, Eddie, what happened to helping? But this is so much more fun! Not more fun than dancing. Does that mean it's time for the party? Here, boy! No! Heel, Balloon! Heel! Eddie, come on! I would if I could, but he's too strong! Whoa! So, 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 so sorry. I just got carried away. You can say that again. I'll make it up to all of you, I promise. How? I'll blow up all of my balloons while you go and have fun. But Eddie, we came here to have fun together. And it won't be the same without you, even if you are a big airhead. We'll help you. Thanks, guys. You're the best. So the work is done and job's complete. Now we can dance with happy feet. Welcome aboard flight EIEIO, heading to Backyard International Airport. We'll be flying Tessa style with your pilot and co-pilot, me and Eddie. You know, I'm not sure I want to be a pilot anymore. Any room in first class? Sure. So what are you going to be when you grow up? Something where I can keep my feet on the ground. Like a chicken or a race car driver. Or maybe a racing chicken. Sorry. No racing chickens in first class, sir. <laughs> Partner, do -si do we did all the chores, and so the work is done and job's complete. Now we can dance with happy feet. Hey, 
<laughs> no dancing in first class either. <laughs> <laughs> We may be little, but our show is big. Play that music, it's a super gig. Our stories take us anywhere together. Out to sea or in the air. Together. Yeah! Wow! Great! Our secret is imagination. No one needs an invitation.